This week we're painting a textured, magical moth in Procreate. The color palette for this project is free as always. Just tap on the link in the video description and you can download and install it. I'm going to start by creating a brand new canvas. I've listed my specs on screen and let's begin. This week's tutorial is brought to you by Envato Elements, which is kind of like the Netflix of graphic design. They have tens of thousands of resources available to artists, including stock photos, presentation templates, audio tracks, logos, fonts, and my favorite, Procreate brushes. We're actually going to be using a set from their library for this week's tutorial, and they've generously offered every Tuesday subscribers with a 70% off coupon, which makes it less than $10 a month to try out. It's limited time though, so tap on the link in the video description to grab your coupon, and let's go download our brushes. So once you arrive at Envato Elements, you just want to type in Texture Procreate Brushes. And if you scroll down to the add-ons category, it's the one with the birds. So we're going to download this. And once you have that downloaded, next we're going to pick up our source photo that we're going to be working from. So the source photo that I chose is this Phi Spot Burnett Moth. And I will leave a link to both the brush set and this moth photo right in the video description. So I'm going to download this and then it will be saved to my camera roll. Okay, I'm back in Procreate. I have my brushes installed and now it's time to bring in our source photo. So I'm going to hit the wrench and then hit add, insert a photo. Okay, I've got my moth photo in here and I want to make this a little more vertical. It was shot at an angle, but we can still work with this. So what I wanna do is make it about the size that I want it to be on my canvas. And obviously his body is at a bit of a curve right here, but we're going to use our symmetry tools and correct that so we have a really nice symmetrical outline to work from. We're going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to change to my lightest color because we're going to put this on a dark colored background. And I'm going to turn on my symmetry settings. So hit your wrench, hit canvas, drawing guide, edit drawing guide. And down here you want to toggle on symmetry. And if you hit options, you just want to make sure that vertical is selected with assisted drawing turned on. I'm going to make this line a little bit thicker so I can see it better on screen and increase my opacity a bit and then I'll hit done. Okay, so you can see that the moth, the middle of its head is not on this line and we need to make sure that it is before we begin drawing. So I'm just going to slide this over until it feels about centered. Obviously, this isn't a perfectly symmetrical photo, so we'll need to improvise just a little bit. Next, I'm going to come into our brush set and select texture number 10 and bring my size way down to about 2%. Make sure that you're on your brand new layer that has the assisted text on it. That's really important. That means our symmetry is turned on. And this is a layer we wanna draw on. So whatever we draw on this side will be repeated on the other side. So we only have to draw half of this moth. And I'm only paying attention to the right side. I'm not looking over here at all. You can see how this is the center in the photo, but I need to make adjustments. So this one I'm just going to end right here and make its body come down here. Okay, that feels pretty good. I can turn off my photo and I'm going to change my background color. So tap on the background color layer and select the very first color in the top row. And we can take a look at our outline. And if there's anything we wanna change, now is the time to change it. I'm going to move forward with this exactly as it is. The first thing we're going to do is start blocking this out with color. And once we have it all color blocked, then we can start adding in all those really beautiful details. So I'm going to create a brand new layer and drag it underneath my symmetry layer. I'm also going to work with my symmetry turned on to reduce the amount of work. It's basically half the work. So this actually moves pretty quickly once you get going. In order to maintain the symmetry without having to go to the wrench and turn on your drawing guide and then add on the symmetry settings. All you have to do is tap on the new layers thumbnail and tap on drawing assist and that will turn on whatever symmetry settings you were last using. So now that we have this, we can start blocking out our color. The first color I'm going to apply are my wings. So I'm going to grab the third color on the top row. I'm going to come up to about 5% and this is texture 10 in that brush set. And I'm just going to paint in these wings and you can see how it's also filling in on the left side when I do this. 
And let's change our brush for the second wing over here. So I'm going to create a brand new layer, drag it underneath that primary wing layer. We're going to turn on our symmetry settings again and we're going to switch to the darker blue. So it's the second one on the top row and let's switch to texture number seven. Increase the size to about 3% and paint that in. Now we're going to paint the body of our moth. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to drag it above the topmost wing layer. And for this one, I'm actually not going to have the symmetry turned on since it's right in the middle. It just looks a lot more unique if this part of the body does not have symmetry turned on. I'm going to grab the hot pink color. I'm still using that same brush, the texture seven, and I'm going to paint all the way up to what I'm calling the neck. I apologize for my non-scientific terms for this moth. And we don't need this line down the middle anymore. We can turn that off as well. So I'm just going to come up here and toggle off drawing guide. And I wanna finish the body off right now so we don't have to worry about it later. I'm going to switch to texture two to add a little bit of texture right down the center of the body. And that seems a little large. Let's come down to 15% for this brush. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this down to about 65%. I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want it to look like it's got a little bit of special texture right in the middle of that body. Next, I'm going to create another layer right on top of that. I still have my red color selected, but I'm going to switch to texture four. My brush size is about 7% and I'm just going to texture the edge to make it look more rounded. So I'm going to make the texture a bit denser on the very edge of the body. I'm going to put what I'm calling the neck in next, create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab my orange color and I'm going to switch back to my texture seven brush. Brush size is 3% and I'm just going to paint that in. And then we'll do the head of the moth, create a brand new layer, grab this yellow so it's the fourth one on the second row, and I'm going to paint the head separately from the antenna. Now let's put in the antennas. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to drag it underneath the head, and I'm going to use my lightest blue color for this, reduce my brush size to 2%, and make sure you have your symmetry turned on this layer, so tap on the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist, and we'll paint these in. And let's turn off our outline layer. And then the last thing is this shoulder area. I want to make these actually leaves instead of color blocking. So I'm going to come underneath this orange layer, create a brand new layer, switch to my yellow. Let's turn our outline back on. I'm going to add the symmetry back into this layer. So tap on the layer thumbnail, drawing assist. And these are going to be like leaf shapes right here. So this first one's going to be on the smaller side and then I'm going to do a larger one right next to it. And let's see how that looks without the outline. So now we are all set to begin adding all the details to our wings. So we're going to take care of the top wings first and then we'll move on to our second pair of wings. Let's locate our wings. I'm going to create a brand new layer above the topmost one and apply those symmetry settings once again. So tap on the layer thumbnail, choose drawing assist, and we're going to add in more leaves to this and these are going to be the lightest color. So the last color on the second row. And what I'm going to do is just kind of draw a wavy line down and then add in really, really simple leaves to it. And I'll alternate them or stagger them and I'll roughly color them in. Okay, once you have your leaves in there, now we're going to add in some additional detailing. So I'm going to create a brand new layer right above that. Apply my symmetry settings again, tap on the layer thumbnail, drawing assist, grab the lightest blue color, and this one's just going to have two little lines coming off of the negative space between these leaves. And then just to finish this off, we're just going to add in some decorative dots. So create a brand new layer, apply the symmetry settings, and switch to the yellow color. So the fourth one on the second row. And I'm just going to put little dots here and there, and you can change up the size of them too. Our top wings are all done, so let's focus on the secondary wings. So I really want to give off a sense of depth right here. So we're going to choose some darker colors and also add in some additional shading to show that they're behind those front wings. As far as the design element goes, we're just going to draw in some lines. So select that backmost wing layer, create a brand new layer right above it, grab the darkest blue color, which is the same color as your background color. And I still have my same brush selected. Make sure 
sure your symmetry is turned on again. So tap and layer thumbnail, drawing assist. And these ones are just going to be really simple lines that follow the contour. Now we're going to create a brand new layer right between the line layer and the wing layer. We're going to apply symmetry to this layer. We're going to keep that same dark color selected. I'm going to switch my brush to texture nine and the brush size is 4% and I just want to add in a little bit of texture behind the topmost wing and then it's going to come behind the body too. And I'm going to add just a little bit of a curve right here where those two lines meet. It's obviously way too dark but we can fix that easily. I just want to make sure the shape of it looks right. So let's reduce the opacity of this. I'm going to come down to 35%, create a brand new layer right above it, apply symmetry, and we're just going to do one more layer of depth. Let me grab a smaller brush, 3%, and follow that same outline, but we're not going to come out quite as far. We can reduce the opacity of this. I'm going to change this one's blend mode to multiply so it blends darker with the layer right behind it and reduce the opacity down to 40%. Now we have our moth completely done. So the last thing we're going to do is add in some decorative elements around the moth to give it that magical effect and really bring it to life. So in order for me to get the shape that I want for this, I'm going to give myself a template. So I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom most layer. I'm going to tap on our source photo, create a brand new layer right above it. I'm going to grab my lightest blue color and my texture seven brush and it's still pretty small in size, 1%. I'm going to create a circle, wait for it to snap, and then tap on my screen with my finger, and now I have a true circle and I can size it by pulling my stylus. And I'm going to reposition the circle right in the center. So these are the outer bounds of my design where I'm going to put it. I'm, I can reduce the opacity of this. This is just a template or a guideline for me. And then create a brand new layer. All of the line art florals are going to be the third blue on the top row. And the way that I draw these, I'll give you an example first before I fill it in. So all I do is draw a line up I square off the top of my petals just to make it a little easier and they come down and as they're coming down they have more of an angle to them and they fan out a bit. So it's a pretty simple floral and then the leaves that I'll put in are my basic leaf and then sometimes I'll put a line in the middle and other times I won't. So those are the main shapes and that's all it is. This entire background, those are the only elements that I'll be using back there. And I don't wanna go outside the bounds too much of my circle, that way I have this really beautiful display of florals that are in a circular shape without it being a circle. So it looks more organic, but you still have that geometric feel to it since we have a lot of symmetry in our design. Okay, so I am not turning on symmetry on this layer and we can just start filling this in. These are background supporting elements. I don't wanna take away too much attention from my moth. It's to support my moth and draw the viewer's eyes in to looking at the moth. So I place these facing in different directions, but it's still that same shape. And you can change up the scale of these two. Okay, once you have all of your background elements in there, let's turn off our circle template and see how it all looks. And the last thing I like to add in are some open and closed dots just to add that magical feel to it. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new layer up at the very top. Let's grab the white color and let's make sure we're on that brand new layer. And I'm just going to put some closed dots and some open dots around. And we're also going to add in another layer of orange on this. So just keep that in mind as you're going around. I kind of let them taper off as I get towards the end of the wing and then I pick it up underneath. So I won't go all the way to the very tip of the wing. Okay, create a brand new layer and we'll switch to the orange and repeat the same thing. I'm gonna make the size just a little smaller. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time.